Namaskar, welcome to my new vlog. So welcome to the another series of what I ate in a day. So this was for the morning breakfast. So here you can see some uradal seeds which are nicely washed and then soaked for 6 hours. So right now here you can see some coconut. So these are the coconut of Gauri Ganesha Puja. So during the Gauri Ganesha Puja, the decoration on the coconut is made and then Puja is made. So these are some Cavendish banana grown in our garden. We usually make Mangalore buns or a simple Cavendish milkshake from it. So for the morning breakfast was idli. So we make uh, idli from urad dal and idli rava. First we soak and grind the urad dal and we ferment the batter and then uh, we add this soaked idli rava. So here idli is ready for the next day morning breakfast. So we make this in the idli vessel by applying some coconut oil. Some also use the simple idli plate. So the urad dal and the rice rava is in the proportion of 1 is to 2. One proportion of urad dal, two proportion of the rice rava. So we also make it by using a fresh rice or from the Bombay rava. But the Bombay rava needed to be well roasted before. So along with the idli, we here we have the sambar. So the main difference for the breakfast sam sambar and the lunch sambar is that the breakfast sambar is little uh, thin but the masala vegetables all are same but this contains more onion and tomatoes but the lunch sambar is a little thick and we mainly use the mangalore cucumber in it. So let's taste this. So the idli is swimming in the sambar. So the sambar is mild in taste with all that garam masala, jeera, uh, tur dal, coconut in it. But when you taste the idli with the sambar, it is perfectly well balanced. You will, you will get the tartness from idli and a perfect uh, like a garam masala taste from the sambar with a good consistency of tur dal and coconut. So it's a good recipe. So today is my sister's birthday and some cousins also came to my home. So this was for the lunch. I had my lunch after coming from the college in the evening. So we have some white rice and this is the mixed bean sabzi along with some coconut and mustard seeds tempering. So we do not roast the coconut. After it cooks and after we turn off the steam or the turn off the stove, we add the coconut along with some salt. So this is called as the Chana Gashi, which is a very famous GSB dish made up of the yam and white Chana along with some simple coconut masala. It is not spicy at all. So this uh, chickpea sambar or the Chana sambar is a famous GSB dish mainly eaten with the rice. So here we have some paisam. So it has some vermicelli, the shavige in it with all the dry fruits and elaichi and the main thing here is the sabudana. So for this, uh, this white paisam contains milk and milk powder. If it is jaggery paisam, we add that coconut milk and little bit of milk in it. But this contains more part of the milk. And here we have the tomato rasam, Udupi style simple tomato rasam where tomato is not blended but it is uh, chopped and then it is uh, shallow fried with some tomato rasam powder which is bought from the market and then a simple tempering along with some tur dal and some tamarind water. So this is completely different from the breakfast sambar. So this is not a sambar, this is a rasam. Rasam means it will be very uh, light and thin in texture. So for the dinner, we made this simple uh, pav bhaji gravy with the boiled green peas and boiled potatoes 
by adding the grated carrot and beans tomatoes everything i made a simple gravy and then i added some pav bhaji masala salt and some jaggery little bit of tamarind water by making like a simple uh, thick sambar so please ignore the background sound so this is very tasty uh, with the shallow fried bun and some bhaji it is very light in texture and with less masala only some pav bhaji powder and garam masala so please note that while uh, frying the bun uh, little bit of masala pav bhaji masala and some salt needed to be added so these are the things what i ate in a day i hope you liked this video let us meet in the next video please subscribe my channel bye bye